Welcome to another great episode of American Right Wing Television. There are a lot of new shooters out there today, and they don't know some of the basics. This week in our feature story, we get with Larry Quandle. He's an NRA training counselor and, of course, an NRA publication staffer. And he's going to teach us the basics, including gripping the gun. Our right from the review this week is a really fun 22 revolver, and that's the short-barreled Heritage Barkeep. Prior to this old gun this week, we look at the PKM machine gun. Now, this is the Soviet Union's general purpose machine gun that is still in service today. But right now, let's go through the basics with Larry Quandle. I'm Larry Quandle. I'm here at the NRA range. This week, we're going to talk about long guns. In one of our previous episodes, we talked about grip. Well, mounting the rifle and how you mount it is equally as important. It's all about consistency. You have to do everything exactly the same. When we mount the rifle, we want to keep our head level. That's important, so that reduces our wobble, meaning as we look through the sights. We have a long tradition of short-barreled single-action revolvers. You have, of course, the storekeeper and the sheriff's model from Colt, and now we have the barkeep, made by Heritage Manufacturing. Of course, this company used to be in Florida, but now they're making these guns in Bainbridge, Georgia. And this is just a single action, 22 long rifle revolver. Uh, to operate it, you simply cock the hammer, then pull the trigger to fire. So the difference on this gun is there's no ejector rod housing. There isn't room for one. Even if you put it on there, it's not gonna kick the cartridges out. So what Heritage actually does is supply a little wooden dowel. So when it's time to unload this gun, you of course take it to half cock, and then they supply a little little uh, ejector for you here. It's got a wooden handle and you simply push the cases out one at a time after firing. There are a few arms designer pedigrees like those of Mikhail Kalashnikov. Of course he designed the AK-47 but also he designed the PKM machine gun. The PKM was a medium machine gun adaptation of Mikhail Kalashnikov's earlier success with the uh, AKM rifles in particular. And with the way it worked is they took the long stroke operating rod and bolt system of the existing AKM rifle in 762 by 39 turned it upside down and upsized it along with a belt feeding adapter to allow it to take 762 by 54 r 